Ever wondered what makes some individuals sinister yet fascinating? This question forms the crux of our journey today. We're about to embark on a voyage into the depths of the human psyche. Guided by the insights from Kevin Dutton's book, The Dark Triad, Personality, Psychopathology, and Evil. Our voyage will take us through the murky waters of the dark triad of personality traits, narcissism, Machiavellianism, and psychopathy. Narcissism, characterized by grandiosity and self-obsession. Machiavellianism, marked by manipulation and a focus on personal gain. And psychopathy, defined by a chronic lack of empathy and remorse. These are the three pillars that form the foundation of the dark triad, a concept that gives us a peek into some of the most enigmatic and captivating aspects of human behavior. So buckle up, as we delve into the mysterious world of the dark triad. This journey promises to be both enlightening and thought-provoking, offering a unique perspective into the intriguing mind. First we find narcissism, the self-love taken to the extreme. This term is derived from the Greek myth of Narcissus, a man so infatuated with his own reflection, that he drowned trying to embrace it. But in a psychological context, it goes beyond simple vanity. Narcissists exhibit an inflated sense of self-importance, an intense need for admiration, and a lack of empathy. They often harbor grandiose fantasies about their own success, power, and beauty, and they're notorious for bending the truth to fit these narratives. In interpersonal relationships, narcissists can be charming and charismatic, initially drawing people in with their confidence and grandiosity, but their lack of empathy and disregard for others' feelings often lead to strained relationships. They view others as extensions of themselves, using them to prop up their inflated self-image. Their constant demand for admiration and validation can be emotionally draining for those around them. But as we delve deeper into the dark triad, we encounter another chilling personality trait, Machiavellianism. Named after the Italian diplomat Niccolo Machiavelli, this trait is characterized by manipulation, deceit, and a lack of morality. Those high in Machiavellianism see others as pawns in their game, to be used and discarded as needed. They're strategic, cunning, and often ruthless in their pursuit of personal gain. Machiavellians are adept at reading people and situations, and they use this knowledge to their advantage. They're masters of manipulation, capable of bending others to their will with a mix of charm, deceit, and coercion. They have no qualms about lying or cheating if it serves their interests. Morality to them is a tool to be wielded, not a guiding principle. Despite their similarities, narcissists and Machiavellians are distinct in their approach to relationships. While narcissists seek admiration and validation, Machiavellians are more focused on power and control. Both, however, share a disregard for the feelings and well-being of others, making them a formidable presence in any social or professional setting. These two traits, narcissism and Machiavellianism, are just the beginning of the dark triad. Moving on to the third and perhaps most chilling trait, psychopathy. Psychopathy, often depicted in popular culture, is much more than a mere cinematic trope. It is a complex and fascinating psychological reality, one that Kevin Dutton meticulously explores in Chapter 3 of his book, The Dark Triad, Personality, Psychopathology and Evil. At the heart of psychopathy lies a profound lack of empathy. The ability to understand and share the feelings of others is a fundamental human trait, yet it is conspicuously absent in psychopaths. This lack of empathy often manifests as an inability to form genuine emotional connections, leading to a cold and detached demeanor that is characteristic of this condition. Impulsiveness is another key feature of psychopathy. Psychopaths often act on a whim, disregarding the potential consequences of their actions. This impulsivity can lead to a pattern of reckless behavior, as the immediate gratification of desires takes precedence over long-term considerations. Moreover, psychopathy is not solely born out of nature, but also nurtured by certain environmental factors. A turbulent upbringing, marked by neglect or abuse, can potentially contribute to the development of this trait. However, it's important to note that not everyone who experiences such circumstances becomes a psychopath. 
This suggests that there's a complex interplay between genetics and environment in the manifestation of psychopathy. Interestingly, not all manifestations of psychopathy are negative. In fact, Dutton points out that certain aspects of this trait can be advantageous in specific contexts. For instance, the fearlessness and charm often associated with psychopathy can be beneficial in high-stakes professions like surgery or the military. But let's not forget, psychopathy is still a personality disorder that can have serious implications on an individual's life and their interactions with others. It is a condition that requires understanding, not just for the sake of those who exhibit these traits, but also for those who may find themselves in their path. Psychopathy, the final piece, completes the dark triad puzzle. Having explored the dark triad, what does this mean for us and our understanding of human behavior? We've delved into the murky depths of narcissism, Machiavellianism, and psychopathy. But to what end? As we've seen, these traits are not as black and white as they might initially seem. They exist on a spectrum, with each of us potentially displaying elements of these traits to varying degrees. Let's consider our daily lives. You might encounter the dark triad in unexpected places. Perhaps a friend who always turns the conversation to themselves, a narcissistic trait, or a co-worker who manipulates situations for their own gain, displaying Machiavellianism. Or maybe you've met someone who seems charming but lacks empathy, a potential sign of psychopathy. Recognizing these traits can help us navigate our relationships more effectively, understanding the motivations of those around us, and protecting our own well-being. In the workplace, these traits could be more prevalent than you might think. A narcissistic boss may drive their team hard, seeking glory and praise, while a Machiavellian colleague might play office politics to achieve their aims. Understanding these traits can help us to navigate these challenges, to work effectively with a diverse range of personalities, and to recognize when we might be being manipulated. On a societal level, the dark triad has profound implications. These traits can drive some of the most damaging behaviors we see in society, from white-collar crime to violence. Yet they can also be found in some of our most successful individuals. The book highlights the need for further research to understand these traits, to identify them early, and to develop strategies to manage their impact. So as we close this exploration of the dark triad, let's remember Kevin Dutton's words. Evil is not a condition or a state of being, it is a path humans tread. This understanding can give us the tools to recognize and navigate this path in our own lives and the lives of those around us. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding the dark triad can equip us to navigate the complex world of human interactions better.